Back onto the all-weather for race number six. This is a class four contest. 16.50 the trip here, headed by Enfolding, who was third course and distance behind Holy Unicorn last time out. Good fit, of course, and distance with a two starts back. Runner up behind Holy Unicorn last time out. Remarkable, a two-time course and distance winner. Joyful contender, form on the all-weather, but she tries the course and distance for the first time. Radiant Bunny, runner up two starts back behind Good Fit. We've got Alcazar with a gear change. Pacifier's going on as he gets back onto the all-weather service. And Gentry, who's won on this trip a couple of times, but they've both been at Happy Valley on the turf. Remarkable, Wampoa Star and Radiant Bunny have been on the road in the last month. Up to Chung Fa and back here for the sixth break. All right, uh, with regards to the speed map, will it be Art of Raw who finds the front? Possibly. The other horse in question for me is Wampoa Star. Now, he's been up at Chun Far. He's been handy in a couple of trials up there. So maybe he could potentially, from gate four, be a little bit closer. But overall, it looks a race where there's not a lot of noted pace. Uh, first one we're going to have a look at here is Kingsman. He's just doing a nice piece down the back straight. He's the one in the white saddle cloth closest to us. You can see the good hold he's got on him. He generally does work well anyway. A barrier of one for him for uh, Kingsman. Here is Art of Raw. He goes nicely enough. I thought it wasn't a bad run from him uh, last time when he ran fourth. Uh, 16.50 is a query I've got, but um, he did run over that distance last time. He moves nicely enough here, does Art of Raw. So he's training well. And the other one we're going to have a look at here is um, Alcazar. The blinkers will come off him, and you can see him uh, doing it really nicely here as well. He's the one on the far side, the orange saddle cloth, so he works well. All right, we've got a whole stack of them to look at here in our first uh, key race. Good fit, fares best, finishing second, but Art of uh, Raw finishes off quite nicely. Radiant Bunny and uh, Remarkable, not one of his better efforts. Well, Good fit's been in terrific form all season. Enfolding ran a good race here at a price, but it's been the first thing we've seen from him when he dropped in grade. Art of Raw stuck on well. I thought Radiant Bunny closed strongly from the back and Remarkable held up in the stretch, but overall a little bit disappointing, this prep. He has been disappointed, isn't he, Remarkable? I've actually dropped off him uh, in this particular race. A real open race, I thought, this one. Uh, good fit's been in great form. Mm. A winner and a second in this grade in his last two starts. All right, OK, so plenty to take in there. We'll come back to Remarkable again, though, because this was a, a better effort um, just at the end of last year, finishing third again. Kingsman, King of Mongolia, Lotus Breeze and Art of Raw. Worse from him. Yeah, it just shows you that they can race each other on many occasions, these horses, and you get varying results. Um, yeah, Remarkable on this occasion ran a better race. Kingsman has drawn gate one here from Birdo Rispoli, so that's a real positive for him. Um, I did leave him out. I managed to sneak in Remarkable just on a almost a bit of a loyalty card, really, because I know he's better than what he's done recently. Mm. But as Paul's touched on, there are cases to be made for others. Yeah, I've, I've bought Kingsman there because I just think he's going to get a bit of run, mm. a nice run, and he just got a little bit too far back. So I think they'll, they'll pause him up a bit closer. Are you putting Art of Raw in or out? No, I left him out, actually. Um, let's see him back. I think he probably needs further, but it was a good run last time. Mm. Uh, we've still got a couple to look at. Uh, Joyful Contender next. We're going back two starts for him. He was fifth last time out, but this is the effort, the start before. This is over 1,200 metres as well, mind you, behind Golden Effort. Yeah, and it w he went around at 40 to 1 this night, so it was a bit of a surprise to a few that he actually ran this well. And then following this, he went out 3.5 favourite. The best he could do was get two and a half lengths uh, close to ever strong. But he was a bit awkward from the gates. I do tend to think that the longer trip will suit him. But I want a decent enough price about him on his overall record. Yeah, up to 16.50 is interesting, isn't he? They've they had him um, sitting second in that speed map. I thought he might be a better horse ridden back. Yeah, I tend to think... This distance is better than 1,200. Yeah, if he didn't have that run in between, um, yeah, you know, you wouldn't have that question mark, I suppose. Wampoa Star, uh, the next and last one we'll look at. I spoke about his trials up at Chun Fa. Now, you can see here he led them in. That stimulation to his outside in the white colours being pushed on. Um, he's a pretty handy Class 2 type of horse. Now, Wampoa Star's being hard ridden. It's fair to say. Um, and probably coincides a little bit with, uh, with some of his recent form. But he has dropped a long way. He's in the hands of Me Choi, who knows how to find a winner on the dirt. I'm going to sneak him in at a bit of value because uh, I've seen one or two runs from him that suggest he could be competitive should the uh, real Wampoa star show up. Yeah, blink is off, tongue tie off, but he's all yours, Brett. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> all right, good fit favourite here, Paul. Open, though. Yeah, very open race. So a uh, 5.5 favourite at this stage. Um, but I'm going to go with Kingsman, just from uh, the low barrier. I think he can get a nice run. Posy up a bit closer than he was last start. And uh, 
He's uh, by a fright. He's had three time winner from his 31 starts. Good fit, a winner in a second in this great race. He's eight years old now. He'll want a bit of pace on. That's the query for him. Radiant Bunny's still a maiden uh, at, at this stage, but his last two runs suggest he could run another placing. And in folding, I'll give him a chance as well. He's got the wide draw. He's another one that's going to get back. So he'll, he'll, not, he'll need a little bit of pace on. But uh, his run last time, I thought, behind it, Holy Unicorn wasn't too bad. So uh, two, three, eight, and one in an open race. It is open, uh, which is why I'm going to throw a bit of value in there. But I think Radiant Bunny, I thought his last start was really solid. And so was his start prior to that, behind Good Fit and then Holy Unicorn. Um, I think from the tan, he'll probably just sit back, let the race unfold in front of him, Zach, and then come with a run late. That's what he's done at his last two, and they've been really good efforts. So I think it might be uh, time for the Bunny to get the result from Good Fit. Wampoa Star, I'll throw him in at some value. His overall record's very poor, but... Uh, He's run one or two good races on this surface and remarkable. What do you do with him now? He's, has he come up favourite or he's not far short of it? I've thrown him in for fourth, but you could easily replace him with others. Mm. Yeah, tricky race. We've all got the three and the 18. We've all got a different winner, though. I've got Joyful Contender. I thought the 1650 would yep. suit him down to the ground. We will find out. Race number seven, that's our feature race. That's up next. Uh, back on the turf, 1,200 metres of the trip.